let's pivot real quick. Let's get to a couple yeah, of re- more relationships. I think I was ahead of the game or ahead of my time when it came to what we uh, what we know it to be college football in 2023. Because I think it has something to do with me going to Loyola, New Orleans. With the time that I grew up in New Orleans, we didn't have the relationship with LSU that we did. I grew up rooting for Florida State, so I did love college football. Um, but I wasn't, I didn't grow up in a college football hotbed the way you did in Ohio, rooting for OHIO, right? Um, but I know you have a special relationship with college football. My relationship with college football has always been, at least as an adult, through the prism of the NFL draft, more than it's been about the rivalries, the pageantry, conference supremacy, bragging rights, this, that, and a third. So I think, honestly, I was ahead of the game on that because what the hell is college football now? And I would love to know what your relationship is with, is with it now, given that it's not the Big Ten, but the Big Teen at this point. Uh, given that, like, I'm old enough to remember the Pac-8, now it's the Pac-4, or, you know, whatever's yeah. left of it. It's the Pac-4. I mean, I don't even, I can't, I can't even keep up with who plays where. There is no, obviously, right. geography is out the window, and it's not over. We might have Pacific Coast t- uh, teams, West Coast teams, and the Atlantic Coast Conference. I mean, the SEC may not be done. The aforementioned Florida State may leave the ACs. It's bananas, and it's sad. It's sad. And the thing that saddens me, the thing that incenses me, is that time and time again, we've known for years, Michael, we've written about it, we've preached about it, we've talked about it. So we blew in the face the hypocrisy of college sports, basketball and football primarily, for years. They come in with this name, image, and likeness stuff and this, and, and, and so, somewhat freedom with the transfer portal, okay? But that still ain't enough. That's crumbs. Because time and time again, these schools are looking out for themselves and no matter how much the players can make by doing extra work, that's basically what name, image, and likeness is. You know, you got to do extra stuff to get it. Like, mm-hmm. no matter, it's, it's still not enough. It's still a drop in the bucket compared to the money that's being right. made at their expense and at the expense of what used to be appealing about the game. Now it's just the NFL's minor leagues, which it always was, but they're just more blatant with it now. It's just, it's way more on the open now. They're not even trying to pretend that this is amateur, that this is not big business. These are not employees. Because I'll be damned if, how you gonna call somebody who gotta hop a plane to play a conference game? How is that not an employee? That look like our job. Yeah. (laughs) Well, you know what, bro? I mean, but I think, I like the way you said it. I think you said it beautifully off the top that you had a different relationship with college football because of where you went to school and then and the relationship between, you know, Loyola or, or the lack of relationship between Loyola uh, of New Orleans and LSU and New Orleans and Baton Rouge and this a difference there, the, the gap there. Well, I've had a different relationship with college football too, but my relationship with college football is more of seeing it for what it is, what it always has been. Look, I knew this uh, years ago. Uh, a brother uh, from Cleveland named Robert Smith played in the NFL. You probably played him in, on Madden or, or Tecmo Bowl. Uh, Robert Smith for the Minnesota Vikings, great running back. But he left Ohio State early. Why did he leave Ohio State? Because they, they were in conflict. He wanted to go to medical school. He wanted to study. He was studying pre-med. And Ohio State said to him, what are you doing? We don't want you to uh, go to your labs and miss practice. It has always been that at big time institutions. And we kind of, we knew it, but we didn't speak about it out loud. We didn't talk about it at parties, right? But now we do. And I've always known it. Ohio State and, and Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, USC, it's not about academics. It's not about student athletes. It's not about you know, having these kids get the greatest. It ain't about other, ain't about other it's sports about besides football at this point. Money. It ain't about other sports even. It ain't about the athletic departments. It's about right. football at this point. Right. <laughs> it's about football. It's about millions of dollars. It's about millions. And so I guess billions. I have, I, I'd love to sit here and tell you, oh, it's a damn shame. And, and you know, I'm saddened by this. 
I'd be to be saddened by it. I'd have to be surprised by it. To be saddened by it, I'd have to say I never saw this coming. Um, I didn't well, see. Do, it coming well, I don't to, know if we saw this coming this extent. I mean, this is this I is out of control. This coming. Yeah, the Pac-12. Okay, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> Okay, it's crazy. I didn't see. I didn't see a conference dissolving. I never saw UCLA and USC going to the Big Ten. Look, man. Right. I, I'm still having a hard time with Penn with State. With Texas and Oklahoma. In the Big Ten. Oh. Penn, State oh. there, Penn State's been there almost 30 years. <laughs> and well, I but I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say Texas and Oklahoma. And the SEC doesn't seem as weird now. Like, <laughs> if we're gonna talk about Stanford and Cal, and the, you know, speculating about it, they may end up in the ACC, which I know that's on pause if not dead. It's like, okay, I guess geography just doesn't matter at this well, point. Um, but, but why don't we just real quick? I'll say this: Why don't we? Yeah. It's all be adults because adults are making these decisions, and so-called academics and scholars and provosts are signing off on it and presidents and vice presidents, all these academic people with like a hundred, you know, uh, you know, like PhDs, MDs, all this stuff, BA, you know, uh, BAs and MFA, all this stuff behind their names. These are academics. Why don't we all be grown ups and just sanction it all? Say it's Ohio State University and this is our squad representing the university. We ain't pretending that it's really that they really student athletes. They just represent an Ohio State, and, we, and it, it's good for them. They're getting exposure. It's good for us. We get money. And call it a dad. Stop the charade. It's not college sports. It's a professional. It's pretty much a professional operation. I'm not yeah, mad at absolutely it. Professional I'm not operation. mad at NIL. I, I, I'm not mad at any of this stuff. Just, just no, the, only, the only people I'm mad, but the only people I'm mad at is people who are part of the system who bitch and complain about NIL and the transfer window. The, the, the transfer window ain't wide enough. There, there's not enough NIL money. That's like that's like reparations. College football can't afford to pay players exactly what they deserve and what they owe. You know, over the decades and decades of exploitation, like it's just it's like NIL, it's, it's nothing. And yet you still got people complaining about what NIL and the transfer window have done to college football or college sports when it's like, what do you mean what they've done to college sports? Like the institutions, the NCAA, the universities, the conferences, the media rights deals, they spawned NIL and transfer windows. It's all, you know, it's always, it's, 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 it's never, it, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Not that the rabbit even has the gun, but it's always okay when everybody else makes more money, but like, that's, that's the only part that still makes me mad. That even now, in, like, we 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 the era of NIL is in full effect, and yet we still got people that complain about it. Still got people that complain about it, got the nerve to complain about it. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing to complain about. You know, like, oh, this, this is a wide open system. And then you think about the criticism of NIL too. What they're saying is, it needs to be policed. It's, uh, you make up your own rules. It's unstructured. Well, it, isn't that exactly like the, like what's happening right do? now? Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, uh, right. A couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, maybe Stanford saw it coming. Maybe Cal saw it coming. But a couple of weeks ago, we had Stanford and Cal and they had the Pac-12 and everything's good now. They're scrambling, and the ACC is saying we don't want them. You know, a couple of weeks right. we didn't think that Washington and Oregon, Washington and Oregon are going to the Big Ten now. I mean, UCLA and USC. I'm still trying to deal with that, but now so it that's is every it's team for themselves. Every the for themselves. Every team for themselves. Everybody for themselves. Hey, thank you for watching, brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.